Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Zobra Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're having a little look at Coin Factory, which is kind of an automation sort of idle style game. It's kind of interesting. Let's jump into things and see what we've got in store. So the premise for this is kind of simple. Uh, we start with this blank slate, and there's no music at the moment, but as soon as I drag this little building onto the map, uh, there will be, uh, which is grand. Now, this is uh, this is us. We'll pause. Uh, this is the this is the play area that we have to play around with. Uh, we can build belts. We're going to be doing that as we go quite a bit. Uh, but there's this big hole in the map. That is uh, where we are going to be sticking all of our winnings. The name of the game, Coin Factory, kind of gives it away. Uh, we're going to be producing coins in these factories. Our first factory is free. Uh, it's got a little output slot, and we can drag that right over there, uh, which is uh, which is grand. And we are able to, if we unpause, we are going to see uh, a production of uh, one single coin every cycle, uh, which is something to note. Uh, every cycle, I believe, is a second. So we are seeing boom, boom. Every single second, we are seeing a coin come out. And at the moment, we can see that we are making one coin every second it's disappearing into the hole and we're collecting it uh we're collecting it up here now uh, we've got 22 23 coins grand happy days now each and every factory that we build is going to be sequentially more and more expensive i can actually direct the output of this factory it's defined by this little bar over here i can uh, can put it up or put it down whatever uh, the coins combine into very satisfying little piles and in fact i can toggle this and that will show me the total as opposed to just the individual number of coins. Um, it is quite nice to see the sort of higher stacks, though. That is, that is quite nice to see. Anyway, that's the sort of basic level of complexity. Uh, we can actually get much more complex, and indeed, I think we will. However, for now, let's see if we can just try and extend... There we go. Just try and extend our little network of factories a little bit more so that we can increase our income. Uh, we can also upgrade buildings. Now, down here, we've got a little bit of blurb about the building. B uh, base production increased to $2 plus one. That is what's going to happen if we nab ourselves in upgrades. Um, the factory just produces coins every cycle. It's it's just that simple. But anyway, uh, we can upgrade. Boom. And that is now going to give us, if we hover over, we can see it's two coins every cycle, which is grand. Look at that. That is fantastic. In fact, if we toggle this... There we go. We can see the total that is going into uh, that is going into the hole. So let's actually upgrade all of these, and I can do that just by double clicking, which is quite easy to do. And suddenly, we're looking pretty darn good. We're looking pretty darn great, if I do indeed say so myself. And in fact, I'm going to upgrade you again. It's going to cost me seventy-five bucks to do. I've upgraded a hundred factories. That's nice to note. Not in this game, but I guess over the course of uh, over the course of time. Either way, this is all looking pretty darn pretty darn nice. We're making about you know ten bucks a second here. Not too shabby at all. Now, let's move on to the next building. This is a central. A central produces the sum of production of everything touching the factory in non-diagonal tiles. So, what does that mean in practice? It means that this is producing three, this is producing three, and now this is producing six. So suddenly, we're able to get a factory, not necessarily on the cheap because it, it was quite expensive to build, uh, but we're actually able to get a pretty darn decent... There we go. A pretty darn decent outcome, or a pretty darn decent income coming from just this one building. And in fact, if I build it up around here, we can nab ourselves seven. But if I put it here, it's not going to, it's not going to matter because uh, it's on the diagonal. So that is, uh, that is somewhat redundant. Uh, we'll get rid of that one just as an example, right? We'll do this. This is fine. Uh, occasionally, there are some little modifiers that pop up here. A thousand piece jigsaw. Uh, that is going to that is going to give us a slight time penalty. Um, the way that you sort of beat the game is by completing the level in a certain time. I really don't care about completing the level in a certain time. I'd much rather just uh, play it for for you and see see what you think. Uh, let's get you upgraded. You upgraded again, and actually, it's going to cost me four hundred bucks to upgrade these three. So we can. We can manage that. Uh, we'll we'll deal with that. But yeah, this is a pretty decent amount of income that we're getting from this uh, from this central. We're up to 21, 22 bucks a 22 bucks a second. And in fact, that's that's doing 15. That's not too bad at all. Uh, we can actually get this bad boy upgraded, which is going to increase our modifier. You're producing 15 at the moment, as opposed to basically three six. Six is our highest level. 
Six is our highest level. Let's get this upgraded. So that's going to go from 15 to... Multiplies total production by two. It should be... Should be more? Maybe that's just a bug? Hmm. Okay, that, that didn't really seem to do much, but that's that's fine. Um, let's not let that sort of delay us. Uh, let's have a little look at the brand new buildings that we've got uh, that we've got now. I say brand new, but newly buyable because we have the money. Uh, we've got the jumper here. The jumper is a pretty pretty interesting bit of kit. It allows us to effectively jump uh, jump coins over certain tiles. I'll use it, but I'm not going to use it quite yet. Uh, we've also got a park, which every touching factory gains 30% production. That is really, really sick. You can kind of start to see where this is going, right? It's going to cost me 300 bucks. I'll place that over here. Immediately, that gives us 30% extra on these two factories. It also gives me bonus to this uh, to this central over here. So now we're making 25 point or 21.6. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. And in fact, I think what I can do is I can actually ditch that right there, put that up there and put that straight into the hole and then just slam a park down in there. And that's going to give me 25.2, which is pretty darn great if I do indeed say so myself. And in fact, we can start thinking about some additional upgrades over here. It's going to cost me 1.5K. But I'm going to do it up to 39.6. Amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. That is brilliant. It is going to cost me 2.5 million coins in order to upgrade the park. But we're starting to get some pretty consistently good green coins. I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm also kind of going slow and I'm not using like anywhere near the maximum amount of the map. So I should probably start getting some more factories and centrals and stuff down, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's maybe see what we can do. Let's do this sell that factory that's looking pretty decent that's looking fine let's get a park in here 2.4 in order to build this uh in order to build this park i'll do that there we go get you upgraded as much as we possibly can that's looking not too bad. 2.4k, that's okay. 3k is to get the next building, the accelerator, which I would love to experiment with. Uh, but yeah, this is looking pretty decent. Now, what we can do is we can maybe look at using the jumper. If I put the jumper in here and then jump in this... Can I rotate you? I don't even know how to rotate you. That's uh, not exactly ideal. We want to be... How do I rotate the jumper? I don't want to be I don't want to be going in that direction. I don't, I don't want to be going in that direction. I want to be I don't want to be jumping that way either. That's that's just daft. Yeah, I can definitely rotate it, but it needs to be rotating to a There we go. Okay, that's better. Uh right. Sell you. There we go. Jump out of there and then actually I tell you what, have I just have I just clocked something that I should have been doing earlier? I absolutely am. Uh, let's build a. Oh, we can't build a factory there. That's that's a that's a. It was almost a genius idea. Uh, right. So what do I need to get you upgraded? I need 15k in order to upgrade the jumper. That's going to allow me to jump over two tiles. So I'm going to save a little bit of money, and we're gonna we're gonna save up, and we're gonna build that jumper. We're gonna get that working. Uh, however, there's no point in doing it right now. There we go. So for now, let's have this. And then as soon as we've got the jumper capability increased, we'll do the jump over here. That's going to be great. I'm looking forward to seeing how that works, uh, how that works out. Uh, let's also see if we can try and get ourselves another park over here. The accelerator is the next building that I'd like to explore. Adds one production every five cycles to the facing factory slash central. Uh, yeah, let's get the accelerator in. Let's get the accelerator in here. And... Yeah, one production every five cycles. That's not really going to make a huge amount of difference, is it? I guess we'll see. Every five cycles. I mean, it looks like it. it's additive. It doesn't, it doesn't revert. That's actually pretty sick. Oh, wow. That's kind of huge. I didn't even realize that. But the good news is, is that the benefit of using the accelerator is that the benefit is passed directly on to the central here. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Okay. Uh, I can get this jumper upgraded. Uh, more just to sort of prove it, because we can now jump over two. And let's jump over to here. Boom, look at that. So that means that we can completely remove all of this over here. 
amazing. That means that we can actually stick in an additional accelerator right over here. This is this is fantastic. Let's get you upgraded. That really doesn't seem to do anything. I don't really know why, but let's try upgrading it again. Multiplies production by hopefully three this time. So let's move you over there and start selling up. Start selling up here and... 118 in a single coin. Oh, that is feeling that is feeling good. That is feeling real, real good. Okay, ditch you. We don't need you. Ditch you. Yeah, want to get better at using jumpers. They definitely seem to be the sort of uh, elite way of transporting coins around as opposed to transport belts. I've got two jumpers. I really don't need a second jumper here. That is that is a that is a waste of that is a waste of a cheap jumper because as I say, every building gets more and more expensive as we go. Right. That's about 44 already. That's now at 75 with that upgrade. That is amazing. That's looking pretty darn good. Another park in here. Oh, look at that. 101 in just that single building. That is that is fantastic. That is really, really good. Uh, 328. That is so good because we've got some serious additions here. This is looking really, really nice. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Upgraded. 70, 70 something. You need 20,000, 1.5. Let's get 1.5. Get you upgraded. Get you upgraded. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Another park. Is that worth it? Potentially? Maybe? Maybe that's something that we want to that we want to work on. Um. Hmm. I want to get the overclocker. Overclocker is 150k. It's the next. It's the next building that we uh, that we need to be getting. However, I feel like we should probably do a little bit of. There we go. There we go. Get you upgraded as much as we possibly can. Very nice. And let's also see if we can try and get you upgraded. Upgraded again. That's looking pretty darn decent, if I do indeed say so myself. How am I going to go about doing this? I mean, we can't... We can't get an overclocker to impact this without mitigating all of the... All of the... All of the good stuff. All of the juice. So I think we're going to have to just set up another sort of factory central combo over here. Which isn't necessarily the worst idea in the world. Uh, let's let's just fill it up for now. I'll just I'll I'll make this I'll make this happen, but this is going to be this is going to be fine. Do I want to get do I want to get another overclocker here? I don't like this setup. We're going to we're going to change this. Uh let's move that in there. That's 12,000 coins. Just get them in. Get them in somehow. Look at that. Look at that. Let's get that in too. Yeah, I'm going to change this area up. I I really don't like it. 150k for the overclocker. What's the overclocker going to do? Every 5 cycles make the makes the targeted tile run 3 cycles at once. Doesn't affect other overclockers slash drums. So that could work with the accelerator, right? If I get the overclocker and the accelerator to trigger five times on this specific factory, that would be marvelous. Also, that's upgraded. That's now 409 from a single... Oh, my lordy. 2.4k. All right. How big are these stacks getting? I mean, honestly, not super big. I mean, most most belts are, are not super overloaded with coins. This is looking quite good. This is this is really really powerful synergies. Uh let's upgrade you for upgrade you for a bit more. Yes, please. That's great. And the park. Oh yeah, the park is stupid expensive. Uh 9 million for the next central upgrade. I doubt that's going to be happening anytime soon. Yeah, we want to get we want to get this area overclocked. Let's let's see if we can try and let's see if we can try and polish up our polish up our operation here. So this over to here. Upgrades. You should be jumping. There we go. Perfect. That's what we like to see. And now we are free to accelerate this factory here. There we go. Output there. Upgrades. 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 
upgrade. Love to see it. And 60k in order to upgrade the central again. I think I will. I think I will. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't get the di we can't get the factories going diagonal. If we could get the factories going diagonal, we'd be in uh, we'd be in the money. But that's okay. How much are we running out of this one? Five two four, three point three, and increasing. Actually, I suppose this is increasing, but perhaps not increasing enough. I really don't like this setup here. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change the setup in just a sec. Uh, I will say though, we're making an absolute arm and a leg. We are making so much money. So much money right now, and it feels good. Uh, overclocker, do I want to overclock? Yeah, I probably want to overclock this bad boy over here. Let's see what we can do. So every every five cycles, it makes the targeted tile run ten cycles at once. Or sorry, three cycles at once. It's going to get upgraded to ten cycles at once if we uh, if we pay twelve million for it. So that's going to mean that we're going to see this go do 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 do. Yeah, there we go. Increase by a huge amount. Holy cow, this is going to start adding up really, really quickly. It really does make sense to be upgrading factories as sort of like the basic building blocks as opposed to as opposed to anything else. So quite like that. And it does make sense to have the overclockers overclocking the accelerators. And in fact, even upgrading the accelerator, that is pretty nice. So what are we adding now? Adds one production every minus two cycles. Okay. Either way, we're adding a lot, which is great. I'm happy with that. Look at that. It's just incre it's just increasing. It's just increasing. It keeps on going up. Oh wow. And that all that benefit is passed on to this central over here, which is what we love to see. 300k for another overclocker. Probably gonna have to save up for it. That's fine. Every touching factory gains plus 30%. Endless X. E escalator again that's another little modifier to the to the game speed that's fine not a big deal uh yeah what do i want to what do i want to do what do i want to get I, i'm i'm pretty happy with this i feel like we should maybe get another another something going on up here you can go up is that is that a productive use of Space? Probably not. If I replace this with a jumper, we can go over the top. We can get a factory in here. That's fine. Um, we could get a central in here. Factory there. Great. Factory there. Great. And in fact, we want to jump. Yeah, let's just jump. Jump over there. So there's a lot of jumping going on here. There we go. Okay, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We can definitely upgrade a lot of these factories a lot more. You're making five, 570. Upgrade you twice. That's 1.1. 1 .1. 2.3. I mean, that's not bad. You need to be upgraded. You need to be upgraded again. Yeah, this kind of sucks over here. It doesn't really feel like we're, we're going anywhere with that factory. 2.3. This is the this is the big one, right? Because we've got the overclocker that's doing that's doing crazy stuff for us. I think we just overclock this bad boy right here. And in fact, if we get ourselves another upgrade, then that would work out very, very nicely indeed. This is our main money man right here. Is there anything else that we could do to make it to make it even more jacked? No. I think I think we're I think we're pretty much at at the most jacked we can possibly be. That being said, it is looking good though. This absolutely sucks though this just this sucks this sucks so hard i'm gonna in fact delete all of this because it's just wasting space for us that's fine uh this this needs to be this needs to be this needs to be here that's fine this needs to be here as well or it could come out this way either way we probably still have to keep things as is uh an investor adds one production to every factory central every fact to every factory central within five cycles. I mean, if we throw this down at the bottom here, is that maybe a decent place to, to put it, to keep it out of the way? Tell you what, we can put it right there and then just use a jumper here to go over there. That's amazing. Okay, that's really, really good. Okay, one production to every factory every five cycles. Uh, we can We can trigger that investor with an overclocker, right? 
We can absolutely do that. And you know what? Here's an idea. Jumper goes in here. Upgraded jumper. It'll jump it straight into the hole now. Right? There we go. Jump straight into the hole. Upgrade this bad boy here. So jump it over to that jumper and then just sell you. Look at that. Uh, that does mean that you're not going to get collected. Mm, didn't really think about that, did I? I don't want to sell... I, I suppose I could sell the investor. I'll sell the investor. I'll bring it back to zero. That was... That was some beautiful thinking for a very, very short period of time. But let's get the investor. That's, that's that sorted now. And then let's get an overclocker here. Yep. And then we're going to get another overclocker right here next to it. And that is going to rapidly allow us to increase the value of absolutely everything. We're at 156 at the moment. What did I say? 156. Look at that. Up to 175. I mean, everything is increasing. That is that is kind of bonkers. And to be honest, we should probably try and find a better place for this so that we can just do more with it. Either way, the investor seems like an absolutely fantastic way to make a heck of a lot of money. Right. Why is there a factory here? Don't get me wrong, it's fine. It just doesn't seem particularly useful. Um, whereas I could overclock the... I could overclock some of this stuff. Let's actually get these upgraded. They only cost 400k. There we go. 9 million is, uh, is, is what we need next. But everything that's 400k, I can pretty much get upgraded right now. 100,000 coins per second. Oh, you love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. 2.5 million for the parks. We're, we're not a million miles away from that. That's absolutely fine. Uh, this area can still be filled with something. A box. Send a box to the next player and end the game. Uh, that's 10 trillion. That's quite a lot of money. It's quite a lot of money. Hmm. Where do I want to be... Where do I want to be... Uh, be making my next play? 20k, 70... 71k, that's... That is absolutely... That's a, that's a lot of money. 50% uh, plus 20% production? I mean, that's just going to take my 10... That's going to... That's going to... Didn't actually do that much. 10 to 10 to 12. That's that's fine. I'll upgrade those two. Sure. 200 million to upgrade the factory. As opposed to a mere 9 million to upgrade this central. That seems like an important upgrade. 5 million to... 5 million to add... 5 million to upgrade the investor. I'll do it. Obviously. Because that's fantastic value for absolutely everything. I think I need to get... I think I need to get another investor squeezed in here somehow. And it needs to be overclocked with at least two people. Yeah, I tell you what, let's let's face this down. Investor right in there. Uh, we'll leave this overclocker working on here as opposed to the accelerator accelerating this this bad boy. It's fine, because I think it's worth it's more worthwhile to have more investors, right? Than it is to have a single accelerator. In fact, purely with the amount of tiles that we've got, it makes sense to have. It makes sense to have this set up. Just means that everything is going to work way better. Let's actually get you right in there. And we'll, we'll, we'll prepare to replace this accelerator. Prepare to replace this accelerator with an overclocker as soon as we hit 4.8 million, which is not far away. What's next in terms of upgrade priority? Probably a central. Probably the central that makes us the most money, which is this. Uh, which is this one. Nine million. We've just hit it. 300,000. Wow. Okay. So this central is producing what all of our coins put together used to make. We've effectively just doubled. Doubled our capability to produce to produce coins. So this is the second most effective central. That's fine. Uh, let's get this removed and... Actually, does the accelerator the accelerator doesn't work with a with an investor? Actually, it's worth it's worth trying. I don't think it does. 
Otherwise, it would be, yeah. Otherwise, it would be so powerful because it would just add up the amount that we get. Right, can I... Reverse you. There we go. Uh, and then jumper down here. Yeah, try that. Delete and replace. There we go. That's better. So now we've got a... In fact, I can... What am I talking about? I can just remove that and place down another overclocker. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, look at this. Correct weather forecast. Apparently everything gets accelerated. Brilliant. Right. Upgrade the investor. Upgrade the investor over here and upgrade this investor. How have I got 10 million in the bank now? Uh, way more than that. Wowzers. Holy cow. Let's upgrade the overclockers first before we, before we upgrade anything else. Oh my giddy aunt. This is, this is incredible. What's next for the central? 1.6 billion to upgrade the central and 200 million to get the factories upgraded. All of my factories upgraded to the same decently high level, apart from this one, which is deserving of an upgrade. Took it to nine point something already. That's, that's really quite good. Okay, we got one last slot free. Uh, this should be replaced with an investor. Absolutely. Replace an investor. Get an overclocker in there. Get that upgraded. Get the overclockers upgraded. Investors are all upgraded now. We need to get the next level of investor upgrades. That's fine. Uh, we could do with getting some parks upgraded. Let's do it. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference, but at least it's fine. You can be upgraded. You can be upgraded. And you can be upgraded. And that is going to have a significant impact uh, on the bottom line. 2.7 to what? 2.7 to 3.2. Eh, 500k is not, is not bad. Not bad at all. Right. 40 million. 40 million to upgrade this investor. Sure. 40 million to upgrade that investor. That's good. Again, that's it's all it's all adding up. It, it's it's all adding up. But I'm not seeing any other opportunities for me to really for me to really do much much more here. The accelerators been added have been maxed out, which is fine. Park park upgrades. Take you from 50k to 58k. I mean, it's decent. It's not bad. Uh, I, I guess. I guess that's. I guess that if that's the best that we can that we can do. This setup seems a bit archaic. I don't love the fact that we've got so much belt around. 300 billion to upgrade the investor. It's, that's, yeah, I suppose that's okay. 1.5 million, 2.2 million on this, on this uh, central here. Absolutely love to see that. That's really good. A tangled thread reader. We're going to get a time penalty. Well, if that's what happens, then that's what happens, I suppose. Are all my overclockers upgraded? No, not quite yet. Okay, all parks are all parks are upgraded. We are 100% fully upgraded. Uh, I tell you what, this can be sold. This can be sold. That can be turned into a jumper. Uh, and something else can go in here. An investor, maybe. Sure, I suppose. If that's it. Also, the box. Send a box to the next player and end the game. Yeah, we do not have... We do not have 10 trillion in the bank. Not quite yet, anyway. Uh, we're swiftly approaching a pretty darn decent number, i got to be honest. Question is, though... Am I happy with things as is? 
feel like maybe we should bring this entire setup forwards a little bit, i.e. the three factories that we've got here. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to upgrade you, but that's fine. 200 million to upgrade the factories. I'm going to upgrade that factory. Upgrade that factory. Upgrade that factory. This now makes us 34 million. 34.5 million. This is the most successful little operation that we've got. If I was to sell you, would that take me down to 27? That park was doing a whole bunch of millions by itself. I'm, I'm going to keep you then. It is worth it is worth having parks. That's that's what it that's what that's the reality of the situation, right? That is that's the that's the situation. Uh, there's a billion coins sitting here just waiting. Whoops, a daisy. That's not something that I accounted for. I forgot that that was happening. Kind of need to sell you. Oh well, there was there's two point seven billion just. <laughs> you got a hundred million coins per second. <laughs> That's quite a large number of coins. Is there a better way of doing this? I think there is a better way of doing this. Let's get a jumper over here. Let's upgrade the jumper. Let's move it back that way. And sell you just a little bit of a little bit of normal belts, I think is is totally fine. Uh sell this. Again, replace it with an investor. Upgrade the investor. What did I need 1.6 billion for? Oh, yes, an upgrade to the central. 48 million, 49 million to what? 100 million. That is absolutely ludicrous. 100 million coins. Literally, three quarters of my income is coming from this single little tiny setup. That is absolutely phenomenal almost doesn't feel worth having anything else. 5 million? Only 5 million? 4.4? 4. 4? How is 4? How is, how is this happening? How is How does this do more than do more than this? Well, anyway, let's get you upgraded. You now do 123 million. Okay, that's cool. That's fine then. I don't understand how that works, but I, I am delighted by it, obviously. 300 billion in order to upgrade the investors. Uh, are all my overclockers upgraded? Yeah, all my overclockers are upgraded. One point eight, one point eight, two point three. I want to get this. I want to get this. Uh, this central run. What if I sell you? I know it's going to be a bit. It's going to cost me. It cost me a bit of money. It's going to go from one hundred and forty million to what? One hundred and eleven. If I do that, if I do that, and then I go overclock, if I overclock this building directly, I'm going to sell you, get an investor here. That might actually increase my, my total number of coins because I will, I will make more money. Like I will run, I will run this more often. Every, every five cycles make the targeted tile run 10 cycles at once. That seems like a lot of a lot more money. Whether or not it actually is, I'm not sure. Let's go 0.58, 20 billion to upgrade this factory. That, that central is maxed out. That's, that's fine. 2.9, 4.5, 20 billion. Okay, we're, we're officially maxed out on factories here. We're approaching the point of maximization. All these factories upgraded to at least the penultimate level. This doesn't even necessarily need to be here, does it? This really doesn't. It doesn't really support anyone or anything. 300 billion to upgrade the investors. That can be upgraded twice. 400, 400 million coins. 400 million coins coming out of, coming out of here. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay. Um, any changes? Any tweaks that I want to make? I could jump further. If I wanted to. I don't think I really care about doing that. I can sell you. Absolutely. A flux capacitor. 
Oh my goodness, 1.5 times, 1.5 times speed here. Very nice. Okay, also, there are other buildings in this game. I don't know how to, I don't know how to get them. I feel like I should have it. Maybe it depends on the map that we're on. Yeah, 1.2 billion. I, I feel like I should be able to push more out here. I feel like I should be able to push more out. What could be improved? An investor an investor being improved. That that's 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 kind of that's kind of good. Get you. Let's upgrade you here. Move all the move all the overclockers to moving through here. Adds 1% production to every factory every one cycles. So that's literally just going to Everything is going to tick up even faster now. Great. That's what we like to see. 16 billion coins. Did I see that? 60, 16 billion coins? Presumably because this overclocker went off, triggered the factory. That's amazing. How is this making 3.3 billion? Now 4.6. Now 4.7. That is, that is a... But this is only making 1.1... 6.6. My goodness gracious me. It's accelerating really, really rapidly. So yeah, that's... That's incredible. It's accelerating because the investor is is giving me so much so much more money. Uh you know what? One trillion. Wow, we're already we're already getting there. We're we're rapidly rapidly rising. It's gone back down to zero. I think that might be a little not necessarily visual glitch, but um it's a weird way of displaying it now that it's percentage based. Adds percentage one production to every factory. Yeah. 170 billion. 180 billion. Only 26 billion. 48 billion. Wow. Well, um, that's that's 10 billion. I'll build a box. We did it. Excellent. That's great. I won a game. Uh by by getting 10 10 billion. Uh right. Uh, I should point out, by the way, that there's also other there's also other types of maps. Um, oh, look at this. Look at this. Uh, we've got different buildings here. We've got a... We've got a map with a gap of, uh, of unusable, unusable space in the middle here. Uh, we got a little portal, which uh, I presume works just as you would imagine it to. There we go. Look at that. How very, very cool is this? So that's kind of nice. Uh, any other buildings that we've not experimented with here? No. Uh, there is a tiny map, standard map, huge map, a line map. What about the huge map? Do we have any other other buildings? Oh, we can use the red portal and the and the other and the other type of portal here. That's kind of cool. Uh, what else have we got? Volcano. I don't think there's any new specific buildings here. However, there are modified tiles which give us. Uh, level one jumper production times two. So that's kind of nice. So we can actually jump. We can actually jump directly over the uh, over the hole, presumably, if we wanted to. Not like we really want to do that. Uh, and there's also daily and nightly puzzles. Let's have a little look. Nightly puzzle. What's that? Evil corporation. An evil tile. Uh, every 30 cycles attempts to buy itself. Increases its price uh, over time. Multiplies. Help. Okay, we've also got a bomb. Converts any tile into an empty tile. Very, very cool. Uh, yeah, and I think there's a few more buildings on top of that. Don't quote me on it. Uh, there's drums, fire camp, bishop, casino, uh, water tiles. Oh, we've, that's a water tile right there. Gives plus 30% bonus to touching park tiles. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, amazing. I really, really dig it, to be honest, uh, ladies and gents. Lovely little game. Coin Factory. Uh, check this one out if you're interested in sort of like a little a little idle sort of style automation game. I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.